Hey guys, Jason Sayers back here once again with another drum reaction video. Today I'm checking out one of my all-time favourite drummers who I firmly believe is one of the most underrated ever. Yep, I'm checking out Mr. Mike Wengren from Disturbed. Um, this is a drum solo that he did quite a few years back now. Um, I've seen him countless times live. Not so much recently, but more so like quite a few years ago before the hiatus and everything like that you know all the the crap side of things where they just went we don't want to do this anymore and then came back and then the biggest band in the world again but yeah let's uh check this one out should be pretty good love the music as a weapon tool that kit I love these tribal grooves he does. It is fire, literally. Shame the audio is only in one ear. Wow, proper getting behind it. Waking the demon. That's the middle section to waking the demon by putting it from a valentine. Love that. <laughs> Nicely controlled all the way down there. That was cool. <laughs> He's probably sick of playing this drum and choke by now. Especially all these years on. shame such a shame that video ends literally where it does well, it's really difficult to find um lengthy videos of him because he doesn't really seem to play that much like and record himself or have other people record him and even like drum solo sections during the middle of a show yeah i know just get on with it you've got guitar solos let the drummer do something you know geez it, would it kill you 
literally just for like what what was that like five minutes of stage time during like a do they what did disturbed usually play like a hour and 30 minute performance generally with no break seriously come on get some more footage of mike do it another one i really love who i highly consider as an underrated drummer is um john otto from limp biscuit but again you can't find lengthy videos of him playing i don't know what it is you can find a million to one videos of every other drummer other than them and if you know of where any of the lengthy videos are of either john otto or mike please comment down below going back to mike though that had quite a few things going on pretty sure that was waking the demon the the middle section um by bullet for my valentine shame he kind of i don't know what happened there he, he messed up what happened but basically i'm not sure what he did he looked like he doubted himself halfway through um but he's a phenomenal drummer you've only got to think of the iconic drum patterns that he's done in his time um you know come on just think of a couple, 10,000 fists, down with the sickness. Um, there's, there's loads, just stop. Like they're, they're all got that tribal element, which I love. I really gravitate towards that. Um, it's different. It's quite a unique take, or at least it was back then, to metal drumming. Not a lot of people were using a lot of those tom patterns. And then he, after him, it kind of ended up being all over the place lots of people were using it i know quite a few things he was using in there were like the mike portnoy sections which is like kick 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 through kick kick with my blooming hands see Dr drummer brain you know like snare tom kick kick snare tom kick kick you know just the basic rhythms like that um probably from probably even portnoy influence like me because that's where i picked up a lot of those patterns um but yeah he's he is incredible you know, you've only got to watch Disturb Live to just know how good he is. Um, he's done several, several really interesting, intricate intros to a lot of songs, especially like when Disturb do their covers. And he just knows how to take a song and build it. Like when I say build it, I mean dynamically. Like the intro to Down the Sickness, basically the Tom intro is massive and you think well this song's got nowhere to go sorry about the edit here my camera decided i'm gonna stop recording you know i'm probably boring it half to death it's like mate i'm sick of drums that's all you do <laughs> but anyway going back to mike and i was talking about the the big build-up that down the sickness has and saying you know it's a really massive tom intro and you're like this song has literally got nowhere to go and yet it does everything builds around it that's what i mean sometimes if you try and start a song as strong as down with the sickness like with that big heavy toms generally most songs can't generally generally most songs can't recover from that but yet disturbed utilize everything that they have going for them and push the song forward then pull it back then push it forward and that's what i mean by dynamics they make the song really dynamically interesting and i just think mike is very good at doing that with his drumming anyway i'm gonna shut up now and i'll let you enjoy the rest of my videos which will be appearing on screen now thanks guys catch you on the next one